Thursday, August the 31st, I arrived at the property, surprised to see that 90% of it had been mowed down. I was told that they would not be able to get to this field until late September or early October, so who knows what tonight may have in store for me. I took a quick tour around the property and saw that there were fresh hog signs. The problem was the wind was not going to be in my favor, coming out of the north-northwest. I planted myself on the very southeast corner of the property. The probability of me getting busted by the hogs before entering the property was really high. Turned on my thermocell to notice the wind is now coming out of the south. Maybe Lady Luck is on my side. 9 p.m. I noticed this boar rutting up the ground. I did a quick scan to see if there were any other hogs in the area. It took me a second to focus my lens, and then I lined up for the shot. To date, this is the fastest I've ever seen a hog expire after being shot. I know a lot of this has to do with shot placement, but I'm absolutely amazed at the damage the 140 grain burger VLD hunter bullet did to this boar. 30 minutes later as I was scanning the field, at first glance I thought there was a coyote that was right next to my dead hog. I quickly realized that it was another hog and couldn't believe that this larger boar was rutting in the exact same spot as the boar I previously shot. I steadied myself to take the shot. And just like that, the burger bullet made quick work of dropping this boar. During the next few hours I scanned the field and saw these two nice bucks. This first buck has a really nice spread, but he's young. And the second buck has a really nice, thick, trashy set of horns. Doesn't quite look like he's going to meet regulations this year. Both deer need a few more years to grow. Finally, at 12.15, this modest-sized boar showed up at roughly 160 yards. As you can tell, he was in the high grass. This has to be my farthest shot to date using this bullet. I could have waited for this boar to turn broadside, but I wanted to see how the bullet would perform passing through this boar at an extended range. The first boar had massive trauma as you saw in the video. It measured in at just under 40 inches, weighing just under 200 pounds. The second bigger boar had a cool leg color pattern, measured in at 42 inches, weighing 220 pounds. On the third hog, the bullet entered just behind the ear, traveled through the entirety of the boar, and exited just behind the last rib. This boar measured in at 37 and a half inches, weighing in at 175 pounds. I'm continually impressed with the Burger 140 grain VLD hunter bullets and its capabilities of destroying hogs. I believe the fresh cut field gave me a unique opportunity to shoot hogs that I have not seen on any of my game cameras. It was an awesome night of hunting. It's been an awesome month of hunting, dispatching a total of nine hogs and achieving a personal goal of shooting a 300 plus pound boar by August of 2018. You won't be seeing any hog hunting videos until late September. Sean, Joe and I will be headed to Colorado in 11 days. We will be chasing around elk and bear for about a two week period. Prayers to all my friends in the Houston area as you're recovering from Hurricane Harvey. And as always, stay tuned for my next adventure.